Center for Internet Security is a non-profit organization which harnesses the power of IT and cybersecurity community to protect the public and private sector organizations against cyber attacks. Uh, this document that is CIS Critical Security Controls or in short CIS Control uh, version 8 was published by Center for Internet Security in May 2021. So I will discuss uh, this document in detail starting uh, with the premise and then the design principles uh, which are used uh, while compiling these critical security controls and then the implementation groups which are uh, the sub controls and then uh, the structure of each control and then controls itself so there are total of 18 uh, main CIS uh, critical controls and then each uh, control is further uh, divided into safeguards. So there are certain uh, safeguards which are uh, recommended in each of these 18 controls. And uh, there are total of 153 safeguards in this document which are uh, distributed in these 18 controls. And um, furthermore, these 153 safeguards are classified uh, into implementation groups based upon uh, their criticality. For example, implementation uh, group 1 is most critical and implementation group uh, 3 is also critical but it is for organization uh, with larger size and lot of resources and implementation group 1 is called essential cyber hygiene even uh, applicable to smaller organization with fewer uh, resources so each of 153 safeguards are uh, further prioritized or classified into three implementation uh, groups that is implementation group 1 2 and 3 based upon uh, the complexity uh, to implement each of these safeguards so uh, a safeguard has two types of distribution first it is adjusted into a main uh, cis control and second it is adjusted into uh, an implementation group one or two or three So uh, this document is compiled by a volunteer cybersecurity expert uh, who have analyzed the real world cyber attacks and recommended critical defensive actions for organizations. So these are cybersecurity best practices. Now this document is oriented uh, towards uh, offense that is it is uh, they have analyzed the cyber attacks and uh, derived their defensive measures out of these offensive attacks and they have uh, prioritized the implementation of 153 safeguards by dividing these uh, safeguards or classifying these uh, safeguards into three implementation groups uh, based upon the criticality to implement these safeguards and also based upon the resources or size of an organization. For example, implementation group one uh, is for smaller organization uh, and basic cyber hygiene and implementation group three is for larger organization. So these uh, control uh, safeguards are, uh, since these safeguards are prioritized uh, as per the resources so these are feasible to implement by an organization irrespective of its size so all these safeguards 
are measurable, especially the uh, implementation group one or essential cyber hygiene. So there are 56 safeguards uh, or the 56 safeguards uh, which are found in uh, different of 18 main controls are classified into or adjusted into implementation group one. So these are most critical to implement and the, therefore these are also variable. So uh, this entire uh, CIS controls and uh, all, all 153 safeguards are aligned with uh, different cybersecurity frameworks and also in with different compliance uh, requirement. Now coming over to the implementation uh, groups, so there are three implementation groups and safeguards have two types of distribution. So 153 safeguards are adjusted into different uh, main CIS control category uh, and there are 18 of these main CIS control categories and also these each of these safeguards are classified into uh, different or uh, implementation groups so uh, a safeguard can uh, be classified into uh, all of three safe uh, implementation groups if it is critical to implement now coming over to the implementation group one so it is for smaller organization and it is uh, called essential cyber hygiene and there are 56 safeguards which are classified as uh, in implementation group one so an organization with smaller to medium size with limited IT and cyber security experts uh, has to implement this uh, implementation group one so this is the most critical to implement then after implementing the implementation group one if an organization has more resources, it can go for implementation group two safeguards. So there are additional of 74 safeguards. So implementation group uh, two includes uh, the previous implementation group one, 56 safeguards and 74 additional safeguards, total of 130 sa safeguards. So it is for the organization uh, with medium to large size with multiple departments and all of these department uh, have different risk profiles and there are individuals uh, which are responsible for managing the IT and however this organization uh, is not very critical and it can withstand short uh, interruption of IT services and the impact would be loss of public confidence only not more than that but in implementation group 3 it is for the organization with a larger size and with lot of stakes so implementation group 3 includes uh, the all the con previous controls of implementation group 1 and 2 and also 23 additional controls so total of all 153 safeguards are included in implementation group 3 so this organization has uh, the enterprise level security and specialized cyber security experts and also it is subjected to regulatory and compliance oversight and any interruption of IT service would cause harm to public welfare so stakes are high here therefore you have to implement all the controls of this document and by implementing all the controls uh, we can reduce the impact of zero days now this is also an additional document published by center uh, for internet security and it is called cdm or community defense defense model so this document actually has various data so it is a data driven approach to confirm uh, the main document which i am discussing in this video so it confirms the prioritization of CIS controls or most or more specifically the implementation groups. Uh, for example, it says that uh, the implementation group one or basic cyber hygiene is uh, sufficient to defend against 
most powerful cyber attacks or most significant cyber attacks of 2019 so actually all uh, the cis implementation groups are mapped to mitre uh, framework or my or mitre mitigation techniques when mitre stands for ad, uh, attack framework stands for adversarial tactics techniques and common knowledge so actually it is uh, a list of the techniques used by uh, advanced persistent uh, threat age uh, groups so they have mapped uh, these implementation groups uh, safeguards to mitre mitigations against the attack uh, techniques or apt techniques and they have found that uh, implementation group 1 mitigates uh, the 62% of all attack attacks so actually this document validate uh, the prioritization of safeguards that we have placed these safeguards or classified these safeguards in implementation group 1 uh, so it validate this fact moreover it says that uh, 153 cis controls mitigates 83 uh, percent of all apt attack techniques or all techniques used by apt groups so if an organization with large uh, resources implement the uh, controls up to implementation group 3 then 83 percent of apt attacks are stopped now uh, the control st structure of each of 18 control uh, is the same that is first of all there is overview of uh, the utility of the control and then the criticality why this control is important and what it, uh, it absence would uh, cause or what would be the impact of its absence in an organization and then certain techniques tools technologies and related security frameworks and this is the meat of uh, this uh, document and that is the safeguards or actionable items in each of 18 controls so total uh, there are 153 safeguards and these 153 safeguards are divided into each of 18 of these controls main control now coming over to the controls so for my consumption i have divided these controls into these different categories that is inventory inventory management or configurations access control application security data security network security security operations and uh, stakeholder management which includes your own hr and also the service provider so this is my distribution it is not reflected in the main document and it has no link with the main document it is just for my understanding that i have found uh, these 18 controls into these uh, seven uh, categories for example with regards to inventory there are three uh, controls and here you can see the serial number of each of these controls for example first control is inventory and control of enterprise assets and also inventory and control of software assets and then secure configurations of these uh, assets and softwares so i thought that these uh, could, uh, could be classified in inventory control and then in access control here you can see that there are three uh, controls that is account management access control management and audit log management so there are certain safeguards in each of these controls which i will discuss later so three over here and then three here and then coming over to the application security there are total of uh, two controls that is first one is uh, email and web browser protection and application software security and then in data there are two controls that is data protection data recovery and then in network there are 
true control so you can see the serial number of each control that is as per the original document and then in security operations there is continuous vulnerability management malware defenses instance response and penetration testing and with regards to stakeholder there are two controls so over here you can see these are total of 18 controls now coming over to the first control which is there in, in inventory so if I'll highlight this further you can see that there are total of five safeguards and uh, then there are implementation group one two and three so there are two five total of five safeguards in this main control and two are related or classified as implementation group one and two uh, and then there are additional two and the previous two total of four in implementation group two and there are all the five controls in implementation group three So it is like that and this is uh, the structure of all the uh, control that there are certain uh, safeguards which are divided in implementation group 1, 2 and then 3. So all of the safeguards are in implementation group 3 and fewer are in implementation group 1 and then implementation in implementation group 2 there are the controls of implementation group 1 and also certain additional controls for example in inventory control and of enterprise assets in implementation group 1 there are two controls you can read it here and then there are two uh, additional controls in implementation group 2 so smaller organizations have to implement the controls of implementation group 1 these and uh, the mid-size organizations have to implement the, uh, all the controls of implementation group 1 and also the 2 so for total of 4 controls and the larger organizations have to implement all the 5 controls that is one additional control and all the previous 4 controls so and this is same for every of the control in implementation group 1 there are 3 uh, safeguards and then in implementation group 2 there are 6 safeguards 3, three additional and in implementation group 3 there are 1 additional total of 7 safeguards and here you can see that it is written 7 safeguards and there uh, further distribution then uh, the this is the serial 4 so serial 3 i have uh, placed it in different uh, domain as per my knowledge so in implementation group 1 there are around i suppose seven safeguards you can read it or pause the video and then in implementation group Two, there are 11 safeguards that is for these additional safeguards and previous of implementation group 1 and then in implementation group 3 there are, is one additional safeguard total of 12 safeguards in implementation group 1 so this was for inventory then uh, with access control account management IG1 these safeguards IG2 the safeguard of IG1 and additional two safeguards and in IG3 there is no safeguard it doesn't mean it there is no safeguard it means that it is equal to IG2 because of all the safeguards 6 by 6 are in IG2 and 6 by 6 are in IG3 so organization with smaller size are for IG1 then mid size IG2 
then next access control management implementation group one there are these five safeguards two there are additional two safeguards including the previous one three additional one safeguard and all the previous safeguards one safeguard in implementation group one in this law uh, order log management for smaller organization then for mid size all the previous safeguards and these additional safeguards and then in implementation group three one additional safeguard and all the previous safeguards this was for the access then application security I should close others it is causing confusion okay application security email and web protection implementation group one two safeguards two uh, six safeguards for these additional and previous two for mid size organization and for larger organization all the safeguards including this additional one coming over to application software security in uh, for smaller organization these all safeguards these are for application software security i suppose this is wrong i suppose because it is implementation group 2 i think it is a typo but you can validate it in the main document i think this is a typo because there is nothing here so sequence so it is implementation group 2 actually because smaller organization cannot have dedicated application uh, security program so this is for uh, this is implementation group 2 i suppose so these all safeguards are in implementation group 2 actually this is a typo and then in implementation group 3 these additional safeguards here we can also validate this thing yes it is validated in implementation group 1 there is nothing and then there are 11 uh, safeguards in implementation group 2 and 14 safeguards or it means that 3 additional safeguards in implementation group 3 the next is uh, data with regards to data, data protection, data recovery, main control then implementation group 1 for smaller organization these controls for mid size organization implementation group 1 plus these controls and for larger organization these controls data protection is over then data recovery implementation group 1 these four controls for small organization mid size one additional control and nothing here it means that it is equal to implementation group 2 so for IG3 there are five controls and IG2 and 3 are equal it means that smaller uh, mid size and larger organizations have to implement the same controls with regards to data recovery or same safeguards actually I keep saying controls actually I meant safeguards so leaf is the safeguard and at the top is the control data recovery is done I suppose let me see yes then coming over to network network infrastructure management network defenses IG1 one control IG2 one control plus these six controls and in IG3 there is one additional control one, two, three. done here you can see the serial numbers as per the original document IG1 nothing IG nothing for smaller organization for mid size organization many controls and for high or for larger organization all the previous control and these five controls additional 
or in with regards to security operations vulnerability management for small organization these controls mid size plus these controls and nothing here it means that larger and mid size organizations have to implement same controls here ig1 with regards to malware defenses three controls and three plus four controls for mid size and for larger same as uh, for mid size incident response smaller these controls mid size these controls in addition and one addition control and all the previous uh, safeguard actually and nothing for smaller organization these safeguards and then these safeguards last stakeholder here you can see that this is not a 17 18 this is 15 14 so this is my uh, reordering of the thing then distribution into different domains ig1 there are so many controls with regards to security awareness training it means it is critical for every organization this is so no one has any excuse even it is a large organization or smaller so these all uh, safeguards for smaller organization in addition this one for mid size organization and uh, the larger organization have to implement all uh, these previous controls nothing uh, new A service provider more smaller organization only one safeguard for mid size three safeguards and for uh 3 and plus 1 four safeguards actually and for larger organization all these seven safeguards so this was all moreover uh on the official website you can uh, of S center for uh, internet security you can find the document in pdf format and also in excel sheet format so excel sheet uh, after viewing this video uh, excel sheet would be more applicable or more easy for you to use so this was all thank you